All right, I'm gonna show you how to get into the hide the first time from uh, in the winter and uh, go through the spring maintenance. So on this hive, I had a, a medium and um, not too much smoke, just enough to uh, turn the bees away from you. And I kind of cracked down all the way down into the box because I want to see what's going on all the way downstairs. Give them a little more smoke again. This hive's really building up. I mean, I see bee seams of bees in all of the seams. And that's good. Now, typically the bottom box is going to be vacant. And most of my other hives that I went through today, it was. But this one looked pretty full. So I could feel this, this box over here. This box over here was pretty heavy. So I'm, I'm gonna assume most of the action's going on, going on inside that one. It's a little windy out today, so I am gonna try to work a little faster. Now this, I'm gonna give a little smoke. These are my uh, towels that I had in last year. I'm gonna smoke them down because I don't want to irritate them. Like this. Get the towels out so they'll be cleaning up here. And um, again, this hive seems mostly empty. I mean, there's bees probably just coming in from the entrance down below, coming up into the top box. So I'm probably not going to tear into this one right now, but I am going to take it off. And kind of start from the bottom up. I like to come out with a fresh bottom board. In many cases, I'll just set one down next to the hive. But on this one particular, there's not really a lot of place to set the boxes, so I'll just take it off briefly, and we're going to clean off all the schmutz. Okay. So now, I'm going to put on another fresh box. Because I don't like to do blind reversals in most cases. In case the bees are straddling the two deeps, so I do go through frame by frame, putting in uh, the best frames in the center on the bottom. I'm going to leave this box and I'm going to focus on this one. Because it looks like there's more action going on in this box. So all honey, I'm going to put that close to the outside. I'm going to go ahead and put a frame of foundation on the outside. I like to put foundation on the outside of the boxes. Or lesser work frames, I should say. And let them kind of find their way out to the edge. That way I can kind of take some of the drawn comb and put it in other hives that may need it. So this is a good strong colony. I know they're gonna get out here. I want them to find that and maybe feel like they have something to do. I'm gonna take out this one over here too. Again, largely unworked and put it on the outside. And now I'm gonna start getting into evaluating each frame. This frame is uh, honey and nectar. I take a quick scan, look for the queen. It's nice to be able to find the queen um, if we're going to do an alcohol wash, which I'm going to do. So if we find the queen, we can do a better job of isolating her uh, so she doesn't end up in the wash bucket. Here's another frame just loaded from end to end of capped and open brood. Looking good, lots of bees. Take a quick look on both sides. This would be a great frame to shake because there's a lot of uh, nurse bees and open brood, mixed brood, capped, uncapped eggs and larva. So I'm gonna set this one just here aside for a moment and I'll check it again and 
Maybe I can find the queen on these next frames. A lot of cap brood on this frame. I see drones walking around. So uh, it's officially split season. We could start doing splits. We're gonna be seeing swarms any day now. Just a big cap frame of brood. I love it. I'm gonna put it in the center on the bottom because when them bees emerge, it's gonna open up mm -hmm open cells for the queen to come down and start laying in again. We want the bees looking up in the hive at the empty space that's available. Um, this is the time where we're trying to prevent swarming. So we want them to have the perception that there's a lot of room in the hive. Again, I'm just scanning. I see lots of eggs and brood. It's great. We want to see that this time of year. Still don't see the queen. But I'm building the kind of kind of building the brood chamber, keeping everything together in the center on the bottom box. <laughs> okay, here's the queen. Nice, healthy looking queen, long abdomen. She's got the red dot. Um, can't remember, honestly, if red was last year or the season before, but this hive is, was a really thriving hive all season last year going into the fall, and I, I really like what I'm seeing now. So now that I know that she's on that frame, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck her down at the bottom. And I know she's in this box, so I am gonna come back to this frame that I told you I thought was a good idea to shake. And I'm gonna come over here into this bucket take this frame and leave a sample of bees in this bucket. I'm going to go ahead and put this frame back into the hive here. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this brood frame right on top, right next to this other one here. So what I'm going to do at this point, um, because this box is damaged, i got to fix, I've already got a thing in the corner here I'm gonna go ahead and use this box so I'm gonna put this box back on I want to put some of this stuff nice drawn empty frame here right next to this one so I've got basically let me get one more frame in there and I'll show you. So what I've got in this hive is I've got the main cluster with capped and open brood and eggs in the center coming out to drawn comb, empty drawn comb on the outer, second from the outer two frames and on the very outside I have foundation. I'm running nine frames in here instead of ten, and I space them out because I like to give them room to, to uh, draw that comb out and not have it so tight in there. I'm going to go ahead and just position this one on top now, and then we'll just evaluate these remaining frames in here. Oh, before I put this, high, this one on, I always forget. First thing I want to do is I'm going to put my pollen patty here. I like to have my pollen patty surrounded by bees. Um, meaning bees on the bottom, bees above it. Because I've seen some hive beetles already. They get into these pollen patties and legs and it turns into a mess. The other thing I want to do is I love these beetle jails here. I want to clean them out. Put in my new oil. And I put these on the outer side outside the cluster. The bees tend to corral these beetles up up and outward so I like to have these beetle jails situated. One on each side. Make sure you clean out the slots.
and I refresh it with just any old oil. Vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever you got. Put it on the outside. So I've got my pollen patties and my beetle jails. Now I'll put this box back on top. Let's see, how's this one? These bees are getting a little antsy because of the wind. And it's getting a little chilly, it's getting late. So they're telling me the best put us back together or we're gonna get jiggy. So, and it looks just like open comb. So again, I'm going to put foundation or just the open drawn comb on the outside, honey on the inside. First, this was the, the frame that I just shook. I'm gonna put that one in, and we're gonna move this one out to the. And I'm trying not to squish bees. So, this is just a foundation, mostly foundation, a little bit of drawn comb. I'll put that on the outside. This was the bottom box, so I'm kind of. foundation so I don't think I got one on the way on the outside here so I will now again I'm kind of moving slow because the bees are not digging me This one had a suit honey super i'm gonna go ahead and leave it for now mm -hmm. on top it feels real nice and heavy you can see the bees down in here but i've got this whole hive clean from the bottom board all the way up got pollen down there between the bees and then up here i expect a lot of uh eggs and brood they move up in the winter so i'm just going to pull a random one here just to check it out and as i expected lots of capped brood open brood i see eggs I see larvae larva and i see the same thing going on down here so i've got brood in this top uh super and i'm just going to let all this brood emerge mm -hmm. next time i'm in here i'll probably put a queen excluder on here i'll make sure that the queen's down below put a queen excluder here under this box and then when all these bees emerge out of this capped brood it'll be open and ready for the bees to fill up with capped honey I'm going to check these uh, beetle traps up on top because usually by now they're loaded or full or whatever. And they need cleaned out. The oil gets sticky and nasty and uh, basically it gets to a point where the beetle can kind of walk right up out back out of the trap.
like to have beetle bite traps up, up high. This is where the bees corral them, up here in the supers. And so having these up here ready for them to kind of take refuge in and hide, it does a good job on catching them. That's it. Um, I brought another super here. I don't think I'm just going to put it on. But since this, med this deep below this medium is fairly empty, and again, I put two frames of cap brood, two frames of brood here with some work frames on the outside of it to kind of draw them up into here. And then, of course, they're going to find more food and everything here. So I'll call this hive done. I won't need to look at it for a while. And that's it.